my lovely imps, okay? I have to I have to tell you guys about something, okay? This one is just a little treat for us, okay? How many of you are familiar with the world-renowned former author turned uh, bitter internet poster who goes by the name of Robert Galbraith? Uh, sorry, sorry, uh, my bad. A uh, J.K. Rowling. Um, J.K. Rowling uh, basically seems to have become nothing but a hateful maggot uh, who spends all of her time uh, spreading misinformation about trans people on the internet and venting her hatred. And when I say that she said, spends her time spent spreading misinformation about trans people on the internet, I should say spreading misinformation about trans people and cis people that she thinks are trans people on the internet. You see, J.K. Rowling got really, really excited this last weekend because she convinced herself alongside uh, a bunch of other uh, far-right, heavily motivated figures that there was a man competing in the women's boxing competition in the Olympics. Now, of course, that did not happen. That did not happen at all. I'm not going to do a whole video on that because there has already been an abundance of coverage of this, uh, and the level of of debunking that has happened uh, reached all the way to the level of the International Olympic Council. As in, every single aspect of that story was debunked from the bottom up. It was completely manufactured by right-wing media uh, with the express goal of uh, making hatred against trans people more intense. So, we're not going to get into that whole story because whatever. What I do want to talk about is something very funny, which is that um, a picture of J.K. Rowling uh, was, uh, was posted onto social media. And I believe this picture was previously J.K. Rowling's uh, uh, like avatar image on Twitter. But a full version of that image has surfaced, and I want you to look at this, okay? Because it's genuinely insane. So this is a time, this is a side-by-side -side of her house. In fact, the same house in 2020 and in 2022. And I wanna scroll down and I wanna point something out over here. Can you all see this? And this, and this, over here, because I don't know about you, but this looks a whole lot like black mold, like a out of control, deranged infestation of black mold. Now. I have heard some people say that it's a shitty mural or perhaps shitty wallpaper. And I'll admit, up front, that's a possibility, okay? I'm not going to rule out that for some reason she put up the most off-putting and horrible-looking wallpaper that I've ever seen. But I will also say that this weird powdery black smearing and the clouds and the pattern of growth looks identical to what uh, a house looks like when it is literally rotting to pieces from black mold. If you're someone who's ever been in like an abandoned house or in a house that's like semi-abandoned where the black mold has gotten out of control, this is exactly what it looks like, except usually it's like in small clusters and not completely growing everywhere. This is what like an abandoned house looks like, levels of mold. And look, I know that a lot of people want to say, oh, it's the mold then. It's the mold that's done it to her. And that's a real possibility. You know, 
mold, black mold, is neurotoxic. It does severely impact your mo your mood, uh, your ability to breathe, your general health, your mental health, your mood, all kinds of stuff like that. I think I already said your mood. But, um, yeah, black mold will do that. But also, um, I don't even know, I don't know if uh, black mold is enough to explain just how deranged J.K. Rowling has gotten over the last few years. Uh, that said, uh, this was an amazing. It was genuinely incredible. And there's another thing, okay? There's another thing um, that I need to point out, which is that the moment that people pointed out the mold, she changed her profile picture. And that's a weird thing to do if it's not black mold. Like, it's a pretty weird thing if somebody says, oh, it's black mold, and you go, it's not frickin' black mold. Most people are not gonna sit there and be like, oh yeah, I gotta change my avatar immediately because they think it's black mold. They'll just say, nah, it's not black mold, fuck you. But no, J.K. Rowling immediately changed. Oh my God, wait, there's more. Oh, there's another picture. I hadn't even seen this one. Where's the other one? Let me show you the new... I'll show you the new picture in a second, but I gotta show you the mold picture first. Because, uh, the other mold picture. Because I just... I didn't... I hadn't even seen the other mold picture. It definitely looks m like mold in this picture as well. Let me see if I can get it. Wait, hold on. Let me see. Here we go. So this is the one. This is the other one. Here we go. This is the other picture. And that also really, really looks like mold on her walls. Okay? Now, it is possible that this could be like a shitty mural. Because if you look, if you kind of like squint your eyes a little bit, it does kind of look like this could be like a tree. But also, why would there be like two layers of trees? And also, why would this be the only identifiable tree shape while the rest look like creeping mold? Could it be candle soot? It could be candle soot. If so, my God, that is also dangerous. Actually wild. Yeah, you could see maybe this is like a tree, but also it looks really weird. And to me, it still looks like mold. You think this one looks more like a mural than the other one? I don't think it does. Like, I mean, I don't think it looks, I mean, maybe a little more like a mural, but also re still really weird. It's possible it's a mural. Definitely a possibility. But... You want me to enhance even further? That's about as much as I can enhance, you know? And it's still looking pretty bad. Still looking pretty bad. If it's a mural, it's like the worst framed mural because why is there literally nothing up here? It could be water damage, that's a good one. Could be water damage. But usually if there's water damage, there's going to be mold, too. However, as I was saying, in the end, J.K. Rowling changed her profile picture immediately after... Uh, immediately after being called out on the, on the potential mold infestation. And this is her new profile picture. And I don't know what the hell's going on with this one. I'm, I'm dead serious, by the way. That's it. This is her account. 
And there you have it, okay? That's it, the, uh, that's it. <laughs> Dobby is free! <laughs> yeah, Dobby's, Dobby's streaking over here. Now, I'm tr I don't want to spend too much time looking at this, but I don't know what this is supposed to be. Is it, it, this kind of looks like a bird. So maybe this is supposed to be like a bird's neck. But then why does it not have a head? It's the arm of a plushie? What kind of plushie? Like a eldritch entity plushie? It looks like a cat. That's what, is that what a cat's paw looks like to you? I'm sorry. Yeah, is it a plushie of a dick? That does not look like a cat's paw to me. I've never seen a cat's paw that was fleshy pink and had a perfectly shaped bell end at the top. Is that just generative fill? No, I don't think so. There's like actual stuff in the background. It's a doll, you can see the hair of it. I don't know what this is. This looks like it could be doll hair, but it also looks like it could be feathers of a bird. I don't see a bell end. You don't see the penis shape right there. Like, yes, it is a little bit of a long one. Like this looks like it might be like a dolphin or something like that, you know? The doll, I don't really see the doll. Maybe she's got, maybe she's on that JD Vance thing, you know? I see a plushy hand side on. A plushy hand. I don't see the plush, oh, maybe, oh, you mean like a, like, like a, okay, so this would be like, vaguely, like a mitten shape? but then there's no thumb or anything, so it's just a plushie with no distinction. The hair up here is kind of like weird, but also I do think it's really funny when people call call you out on your on your potential house mold that you're like, quick, I need an image. And so you, you take you, the first image you can find is one that makes you look like you're in a hostage situation and there's a weird alien dick in the background. Just saying. Kind of seems like the behavior of somebody who desperately doesn't want anybody to know about the, the mold in their house. You know? That's all I'm saying. She, oh my god. She was still pushing the story even after it was debunked. I just want you to, I just want you to realize, okay? She was still pushing the story well after it was disproven. And here's her set pushing complete bullshit that says that they need to test all female athletes for something that didn't happen. The IOC discriminates against female athletes. It abolished a simple test that would have stopped Paris being remembered for televising male violence. First of all, did she forget? Did she fucking forget that like men's boxing was still televised? Like last I checked, Men's boxing is male violence. I mean, it's in a sporting sense, and it's consensual, so it isn't really what we usually think of as violence. But still. Hippie Punk says she has lost her mind, hasn't she? Yes. Yes. Plain and simple, J.K. Rowling has completely and utterly lost her mind. Her entire life, her entire public platform, has been consumed by hatred. And she's not even the first one. There's a, there's a saying online, um, there's, a, there's a saying online that like transphobia rots your brain, you know? I'm sure some of you have heard that. And the reason why this is true is because you have to, in order to get passionately into transphobia, you have to be willing to concede 
that you think that you're like a serious and primary issue you need to be concerned about is uh, the danger that is posed to you by an incredibly small percentage of the population that is already legally disempowered and objectively faces massive discrimination in our society. And from there, uh, like, nope, you're, you're going to start alienating people immediately. Not just people who are super pro-trans, but people who have no idea why you're so obsessed and also uh, why, uh, uh, why they should care. And uh, as that continues, oftentimes, these people begin to convince themselves that it's more and more important. I'm losing friends because of this. They're out to get me. And slowly and slowly, it gets worse and worse and worse until somebody has no connection to consensus reality whatsoever. They've distanced themselves from everyone uh, and they've convinced themselves that they are truly the only truth seer in the entire world. It's uh, very similar to when people get really into something like Flat Earth. Um, and on one hand, it would be sad. And it is a little sad on one hand. It's sad when it happens to like an everyday person. But it's less sad when it happens to someone who's just like a, a sad billionaire. You know, somebody who's so rich and so incapable of being happy, even though they literally have more riches than uh, most of the rest of the planet combined. Um, that they just can't find a way to be happy. And so their only way of being happy is to, is to basically project their misery onto a minority group that they can take shots at uh, with no real threat to themselves. Uh, and then when they face consequences for their own actions, not from that group, uh, but because their own actions are alienating people, then they can blame it on the group even further. Wild. Anyway... Uh, good luck against the mold, J.K. Rowling, uh, and good luck against the alien penis. Uh, I wish you, uh, I, I wish you the greatest in your struggle, uh, one way or another. However, it, however it wraps up, however it ends, whether the mold wins and you gotta move somewhere else and get some fresh air and go outside, or whether you win over the mold and your life begins to become slightly more happy and maybe less hateful, uh, best of luck. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. And tell me your thoughts down below. Do you think it's black mold? Do you think it's an alien penis? Or is it something else that none of us have even thought of yet? You decide.